Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Where is the Renato Sanchez SBC EA Sports? Why have we not seen the very anticipated leaked Renato Sanchez transfer SBC? I wanna talk about that today. And why is this showing up every single time I load into FIFA? I've seen this message like 10 times already, EA Sports. No thanks, I already know what's going on in this game. So I wanna take a look at hopefully why Renato could drop today and why I think EA dropped Holland's SBC first. I think they have some good reasoning of why they did that. Also, take a look at the best preseason rewards we have seen yet. Yes, a 50K pack to start off FIFA 23. That is a reward that you must get done during this next week. It is very, very good value, especially that early on in the year to have a 50K pack waiting for you uh, in FIFA 23. That's very exciting. And also we have some new weekend league changes coming to this next weekend that EA tweeted about, which also might foreshadow some FIFA 23 changes to weekend league as well. So we're gonna cover all that and look at why Renato Sanchez might drop today on Saturday. That's the SBC we all want anyways, right? So if you're ready for Renato, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. If you are new, let's talk about it a little bit. Why did EA Sports drop Erling Holland yesterday on Friday instead of dropping the Renato Sanchez? Now, we talked about it in yesterday's video. We were like, hmm, I think it's going to be either Holland or Renato. And I sided with Renato because he was leaked first. Well, I think EA Sports went with Erling Holland instead because if you think about it, for the casual FIFA player, the Erling Holland transfer in general is probably the biggest transfer of the summer window in general, right? Biggest, biggest name going to the biggest club. This SBC right here on the biggest, most hype day of FIFA, right? Fridays on FIFA are the biggest days because that's when they drop the new promo stuff, new campaigns, a lot of new players, packs and stuff like that. Friday nights on FIFA are just big. So I think EA Sports were, you know, that's why they went with the Holland yesterday. They knew that they would get more people excited about a Friday on FIFA with this big card. Think about all, all the guys that were like, man, go look on FIFA. There's a Manchester City Erling Holland card, 98 rated. And they did it at a very, very good price. Hey, these stats are wrong, by the way. I was destroying with this man in the kickstart friendly mode. It's not counting goals, it's counting games only. But that man, and, and this card is really, really good if you can handle a bigger truck-like striker, as we will call them, 270,000 coins. That's not right English, 270,000 coins, 267K is really good value in my opinion. I know some people were not happy with him not getting the five-star skills, but four-star, five-star is a nice boost for the card. and. You know, at this price, I'm fine with it. If they were to make him five star, five star, he would have definitely had to been more expensive. But good card, good value, craftable. And the price of this SBC makes me think that a Renato Sanchez SBC might not be 500K. It might end up being a little bit cheaper because of that, uh, the price on the Holland there. So I'm really hoping that Renato is going to be our transfer SBC today. I am expecting. And SBC today. Of course, we have Rudiger and Diego Carlos both leaked that have not dropped yet. So it's one of these three, along including Renato Sanchez in that trio, that would probably drop today. I'm expecting one card, maybe two, but probably just one. We'll have to see. But hopefully today is the day for Renato. We've waited long enough. A lot of people want this card, and it would be a great SBC for EA to put out on a Saturday. So we'll have our fingers crossed for a Renato Sanchez today, hopefully somewhere around 300, 350K. That's kind of where I would hope that he would be at. Four squads, that's it, EA Sports. Make it easy for us. Thank you very much. Anyways, that's kind of the Renato SBC question. I know a lot of you guys want that SBC. I want it as well. But of course, EA catered to the casuals a little bit yesterday, I think, with that Holland. And I think for good reason on a, on a FIFA Friday, they went out and did that. Now, also yesterday, we had a card dropped that nobody was even expecting, right? I mean, we were hoping to see an Arsenal Gabriel Jesus with this transfer. It would have been a great card to get. And we got one. Now, some people were saying this guy is better than Holland. If you're looking for a FIFA meta perspective, I would agree. This card's probably fitting the meta a little bit more than Erling Holland does. Five-star skills, no five-star weak foot. He's got the four-star weak foot. Does not have as many traits as Holland does, but he's going to be able to dribble circles and do the skill moves and do all of the rat things that a lot of people like players to do in FIFA. I mean, what else do you need to know? 99 agility, 99 balance, five-star skills. You know, this guy's going to be able to do great things on the pitch. And he's also just five games to complete. So this was a W yesterday. 
two Premier League striker transfers released on the same day. That was kind of crazy, but both are W's in my opinion, regardless of which one you prefer, or if you're an Arsenal fan, or if you're a City fan, you got plenty of options to, you know, add a new striker to your ultimate team yesterday on FIFA. Now, of course, along with that, we had some new FIFA 23 content that was added yesterday. And like I said earlier, I think that this Foot 23 Kickstart 2 objective is the best Yes, the best preseason reward we have ever seen. Last year, we didn't get packs near this good. EA Sports is giving you a 50k pack, a rare players pack, untradeable, albeit. It is an untradeable pack, but that is such a massive pack. In the first two weeks of the game, getting a free 50k pack is unbelievable in terms of the potential pack player that you could get from that maybe an inform you know maybe a promo card like a ones to watch or just a middle to high tier gold card like an 86 or an 87 rated gold card that could give you somebody who would go straight into your main team i'm a huge huge fan of this objective i think it is well worth your time it's three separate matches scoring in them again just like it was last week now what they're doing is this is actually very interesting it almost feels like EA Sports is telling us like, hey, we have leaked all these players or we're going to release all these players from all these teams. Think about it. There's Manchester City in here and we had Holland, PSG, and we have a um, Renato leak, Real Madrid, and we have Rudiger. We don't have any Chelsea, Raheem Sterling. We don't have any Liverpool. Uh, we had Liverpool last Friday with Darwin Nunez, kind of, but it's kind of interesting how a lot of the transfer leaks that we have right now correspond with uh, a few of these clubs that are being featured in this Kickstart 2 objective, but that's besides the point. This is pretty easy to get done. You got to do this one. This was way, this is even more worth it in Kickstart number one, in my opinion. A 50k pack and a once to watch lone player pick for 15 games. This is pretty good. So make sure you get this one done. We also had the warm up back as well. This one's just the same thing. It's a two rare gold players pack and a coin boost this time. So thousand coins, five games, that's 5k. Did the math right there for you. You didn't even have to, right? <laughs> but it's really easy to get this done as well. So you might as well go ahead and do those. Another week of, of good rewards, but specifically a 50k pack. I can't stop thinking about how good that is because this is literally the best reward you could have possibly thought. I mean, giving people 50k packs before FIFA even starts, that's pretty crazy in its own right. So that was the biggest pieces of content yesterday on the game for sure. Let's talk Saturday content though. We've already talked about Renato. Regardless of whether it is Renato today or Rudiger or Diego Carlos, which we all know who we want, that Renato, I would expect to see a transfer card on the game today. Lewandowski is expiring. I would expect to see a brand new transfer moments player, one of the leaked ones to be an SBC today on Saturday. Now, what else would I expect today? Because I'm expecting a big day today with a lot of SBCs expiring. The shapeshifter player picks going away. The 82 plus player pick is going away. It should be a very good refresh day today. Very nice day of refreshes on all of these player picks. Hopefully the 82 plus, the common triple gold upgrade, and the shapeshifter player pick all come back. The preseason batch one player pick as well is going away today. Hopefully that can come back. And you know, EA Sports, why not also drop in the 75 times five and the 60 to 64 and the 71 to 74? Just drop those in as well for people that are still crafting. That would be fantastic. But I'm expecting most, if not all of these, to kind of refresh today um, because that's kind of what EA has been doing over the past couple weeks as well, especially with the 82 plus player pick. I mean, I just hope they refresh all of these today and don't leave any of them behind. That's a big part of the SBC content today on Saturday. Now, also on Saturday in the objectives tab for today, the preseason cup technically is ending today, right? You guys maybe have completed this or maybe you got your last games coming up or you're just finishing them. This is expiring today. But if you go and take a look at the friendly, the preseason friendly, the preseason cup friendly that we were playing those games inside of to complete that objective, it is still available for a whole nother week. That has me thinking that EA Sports is going to re-release a preseason cup today and drop us a brand new cup for this next week of seven days until next Saturday. So I would watch the objectives uh, portion of content today as well. Again, new preseason cup, maybe a new SBC for a player, probably 
and then all the refresh of those packs in the SBC section. It's going to be a pretty sizable day of content on a Saturday, uh, but really the big focus is on what player SBC are we going to, to get. Now, that's the biggest um, focus for stuff today. Let's talk market for a little bit because like we had yesterday with that um, Erling Holland SBC, there were a few um, Manchester City cards that went up in price. Now, there was double demand here because you had people that were maybe going and doing the SBC for Renato, but at the same time, you might also have had some people going and just buying cards for teams that they were going to use in the friendly mode, like some Manchester City players. Ki players like this Kyle Walker, 530,000 coins for Kyle Walker at the moment. I know you're like, Nate, are people really linking Holland and Kyle Walker together? Well, they must be because take a look at this, 465,000 coins all the way up to 580. He's now back down to about 530, 540. Big rise to that Kyle Walker card yesterday. And just like we expected, we talked about the Hyunmin Sun card dropping in value. 240,000 coins for him at the moment. Yesterday before content, he was 290, 280 to 290. Dropped all the way back down to 230 after we had not one, but two Premier League strikers that people might go might have gone and sold their son yesterday. Hyunmin Sun, and then uh, did one of those SBCs or objectives to replace it. So yet a couple of your Manchester City players go a little bit higher as well. I think Jack Grealish is another one who was like mid 40s. I got one at 40k. He's now 53. Maybe a couple other Manchester City players moved a bit. Actually, you know what? Cancelo. Let me take a look at him. 140,000 coins. Did he go up yesterday? Yeah, he did a little bit. Not too much. From 120 to about 140 where he is now. So a smaller rise on him. But you just saw a lot of people yesterday building a few teams around those Manchester City players. And of course, some of the Chelsea players and you know maybe Real Madrid players as well. Marcelo, right? 540,000 coins. Definitely that the contribution of that friendly uh, objective requiring people to play with um, Real Madrid teams is, is getting a few of these other special cards going up in price right now at the moment. So that's kind of the market moves there. Now for SBC fodder, I mean, we had a fluctuation again yesterday. People were going out doing SBCs. Thomas Partey goes from 2K all the way up to 3.6. Now my guy's back down at 2K. Buy your fodder once again on a Saturday because we're headed into another day where more SBCs like the 85 times 10 is going to drop. And if there is a Renato Sanchez today, people will be crafting him. They will be buying fodder to get that SBC done. So 84 rated cards under 3,000 coins, 83 rated cards under 2,000 coins, maybe a couple hundred coins more for your cards that are always a little bit more expensive. That is okay. Great value on the fodder there, in my opinion. Definitely see a few spikes today as people are going and doing those SBCs and the usual 85 times 10 grind and craft. People are working on that today on Saturday as well. So make sure you're watching out for that side of the market. Usual movements, usual spikes in price there. So, you know, that's... um. That's kind of all the news inside of the preseason promo. I mean, yesterday seemed like a bit of a downer day of content because still the only cards that we have in packs are the exact same ones that we had in packs last week. Preseason batch one still here until next Friday. No changes, no mini release, nothing like that. Same cards in packs, which is a bit of a bummer. And that's, again, like I said, what most people are the most disappointed on right now in this game. But EA Sports also released to us some very interesting news yesterday before the content drop and, and i want to make note of this because this is actually worth talking about because this could have some very big implications for fifa 23 i think this might be a change that ea is making at the end of fifa 22 that is actually going to extend with us into fifa 23 and it's about foot champions so this week after this weekend that we are currently in foot champions all of the finals events so after this weekend. Next weekend is the start of season nine. Right now we have five days left of season eight. When season nine starts on Thursday at Division Rivals Rewards, there will be a new finals event time, um, basically duration, if you think about it. Um, they said here that they'll be extending all the remaining Foot Champs finals events by 48 hours. So basically what's happening here is EA Sports is reverting back to the time schedule for foot champs that we had during team of the season. If you guys remember, we had the, I think we had a late start during team of the season, but we had an extra two days to get our foot champs games in 
during all five, six weeks of team of the season, and it was great. You could start your foot champs on Friday, and you could play them until Tuesday, or like through Tuesday into Wednesday morning. It was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. And, you know, I honestly think that EA saw how much people loved that then, and they're implementing it now for the end of FIFA. And I think if you actually read the in-game message that popped up, I actually think that this change EA is making is going to move forward into FIFA 23 as well. I'm just, this is my prediction. This is not guaranteed or anything like that. This is a prediction that the foot champs in FIFA 23 will have an extended time frame based off of this change. They also told us in this tweet that the, um, the final weekend league is going to be ending on the 28th of September. So I believe that means we have, we have next week, we have one, two, three, four, uh, four weekend leagues left basically in this last month of September. It's going to take us right up until the start of FIFA 23. So if you're really loving weekend league, you have four more weeks to go out and play with your players that you've grinded during footies and during this preseason promo, um, four more weeks to do weekend league with those guys. So that's just one of the biggest things of information that I saw yesterday that, uh, you know, that's that's going to be something that I would love to have from a gameplay standpoint. It's going to be great going forward to have more time to play Weekend League. It's also going to impact the market a little bit more, uh, but we can kind of revert back to what we saw during that team of the season time in terms of, terms of market movements um, to kind of think about how things will go even in FIFA 23 in those early stages if Weekend League is extended. So that was some pretty, pretty big information yesterday that I wanted to speak on because that will change a lot of things if that's how the schedule is going to be this next year in FIFA 23. So that's going to be the video for today because yesterday was a W day, but also in the same part, it was a bit of an L day. Hopefully EA can kind of make up for things today on Saturday and release that Renato Sanchez PSG transfer SBC for a good value price and a huge boost on his card. Everybody would be loving that. So if you enjoyed today's video, hit a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions or what you're looking forward to right now or what you think about these preseason rewards. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It has been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.